Hey there, welcome to video of most known trading problem to solve with solution. In this video we will see how to solve various multi thread problem. During this exercise you will learn how to approach multi threading problems for your coding perspective as well as for the interview. So first problem we are going to see is thread scheduling problem. In this program we will synchronize three threads that can in this order where thread 1 print 0, thread 2 print 0, thread So as we discussed we have to create three third thread 1, thread 2 and thread 3 and we have to schedule in such a way that each thread get its own chance one by one. So thread 1 can print 0, thread 2 0, thread 3 0 then again thread 1, thread 2, thread 3 like that. So this is a sample program where it's operate on variable i and I have a thread array which create three thread constructor and for each constructor a new thread is starting then a while loop the important part is synchronize on thread object and notify it so when this thread start what will happen a run method will be invoked and there will be a while loop which synchronize on the same object and it will wait so who will notify the main thread will notify it okay finally it will print the thread get name and increment the variable so in this way we will synchronize thread 1 2 3 1 by 1 so let's print this program see if i run this program you can see each thread is getting their chance one by one So if I ask you to make this thread communication so that thread 1 will print 0, thread 2 will print 1, thread 3 will print 2, okay, then again 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. For that what we have to do, just tweak this program and initialize the member variable using the constructor and comment this piece of code. So you can see that thread 1, 2 and 3, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So this is very tricky question, you can try this code on your machine. And so the next important threading problem is even odd program. Okay. So in this even odd program what is happening like you have to create two threads thread t 
then thread T1 in such a manner then one one thread will print the even number and second thread will print the odd number okay so for this you should have one method print even and which will see whether the number is even or odd if this is even then it should print and it should wait okay and everything should be count on this variable so this is a one class level variable which will be incremented by the two methods print even and print odd in both case count will be incremented and the wait and notify mechanism will be achieved so this is the classical problem of producer consumer or ping pong application so let's run this program okay if i run this program you can see two threads even and odd getting printed so let examine these two threads so this is the thread one which acting on the even number and this is thread t1 which is acting on the odd number and at end of the both threads are get started next important program is the reintrend lock problem in this case what is happening like uh, i have four threads four or three or more threads where if thread t1 is acting on set x method then okay got it so if t let's say you have four threaded thread t1 t2 t3 3 and t4 okay at any point if t1 is working on this method other threads will work on this method set y if t2 is working on set x then t1 t3 and t4 will work on set y okay so to solve this problem you have to use a reintrend lock and you can use the try lock lock dot try lock try lock on this object okay use this as a as it and try to solve this problem if uh, 